Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday! Okay, if you guys have been watching my other videos, you know that I received the worst news today, but I am trying my best to be the most positive, um, especially because that's what you gotta do. And I have this little baby, look, she holds on to me like a baby. Can I show you this? She holds on to me. Little Mayday, say hi. Say hi. Is it a bit of a <laughs> she looks like a little psychopath, but like she holds on to me like a little baby. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> guys, sma I know, I know, I know. Smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. We're back to talk a little bit about Teresa, Andy Cohen, some other shit. Oh, I know, I know. Let's get right in. Here we go. All right, guys. So I don't know if you saw this, but if you did it, here we go. Now, let me tell you, in preparation for what I was there for, which was the Vanderpump Rules reunion. I watched seven episodes of Vanderpump Rules in 24 hours. Yeah. The remaining seven in the season. Okay. John, I think that people felt that it was off. I, I, I think that the start, people were super interested, and then they were like, oh, I don't know. I don't want to talk about this. I don't know if I want this redemption thing. I don't know how I feel about it. It's really good. I got, and I want to clarify, I don't produce the show. I'm not, you know, I don't, uh, you know, it's not like the housewives where I have a stake in this show. I really don't just as a fan of the show. It was so fun to watch. And I have not watched this season and I'm yeah. going to be on um, Jeff's show with Lala Wednesday. So I'm going to binge some, but I don't think I might just cut in halfway. Well, through let me tell like you about Lala. No. She no. She has become the voice of reason on the show. Mm -hmm. She, I think, has her best. I went into her before the reunion and I said, this is your best season. Without question, her best season. You know who else has a great season on this show? Sheena. Brock. Brock. Sheena's man. Mm -hmm. He really emerges as a voice of reason and super likable i think cutting his hair gave him a superpower mm -hmm. the other one who i love to watch and who i think is emerging as a real potential player in this universe ali luber james kennedy's girlfriend oh i played her in radio Andy yes Theater. you did My very funnily really you had did. to do some very you dug that. you you dug deep for that but she was, she's great. And the reunion, what was interesting about this reunion, look, nothing could be as heated as last year. But a lot of the topics were, at, were incredibly intense and electric. Yeah, yeah. They were all calmly discussed which i really oh. appreciated it it was not of course there were flare-ups and screaming but it was not especially given last year sitting in that space it, oh year. it was so uh but it was it was really i, I really it. enjoyed it i really enjoyed it we shot until i thought i was going to be done by about six it went until something happened at the end, which I'll tell you all closer to the time. And we wound up then, uh, it wound up adding a big chunk of time to it. And I will say this, there are two kinds of reunions that I, that I, in my experience, the kinds of reunions that when I leave the taping, I either want to, engage the producers more about it and i on the way wherever i'm going i immediately am on the phone with producers and 
<clears throat> occasionally I'm texting cast members. Maybe the next morning I check in on some people, see how they're doing or what they thought or the total converse where I just want to go home, have a tequila, listen to music and forget about the entire affair. This was one that I was wanting to engage in. Yeah. Talk to Alex Baskin on the way home. Talk to Lisa Vanderpump. Talk to was really kind of, doing rounds a little bit because there was so much to talk about and it was it was yeah it was compelling now let me tell you in preparation mm. for well shit if you guys wanted to know what happened with the banner pump rules reunion well then now you know oh sh it's okay just look everybody see what's new putty tat Oh, wow, wow, wow. What's new? Hey, just look. They love you. You're a star. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to let her be because she's going to fuck me up. But we have to get to the Teresa Judice of it all. Oh, fuck, here we go. It's like the one thing that I never want to talk about because I feel like I get so much shit. But... Thank you to all about the Real Housewives. Teresa and Louie, well, their love bubble is in full effect. The New Jersey star tells fans that her marriage is still full of love, 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 despite the rumors suggesting otherwise. Love is still in the air between Teresa and her husband, Louis Ruelas. The Real Housewives of New Jersey OG addressed the gossip about her marriage on a recent episode of her Namaste Bitches podcast. Now, rumors arose about Louis and Teresa's marriage after she was spotted without her wedding ring on a solo trip to Miami last month. Of the rumors, Teresa said, I was like, are you serious? I know what we are. Attached to the hip. According to Teresa, the rumors popped up after she was on a girl's trip in Miami and Louis was visiting California. She notes that they are allowed to travel separately and spend time apart. She also explained... I guess it's kind of good that people, you know, good stories, bad stories, whatever's out there, it's a good thing. If they keep talking about you, that means that they're still interested in you. So if you want to put lies out there, go right ahead. I don't care. However, she did note that her husband is still getting used to the public scrutiny. It's not his world. I've been doing this now for a long time, and it takes a certain type of person to not let it affect you and you can't let it affect you ignore 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 it's the best thing that you do and one year you know like in one ear out the other the only way you can survive in the reality world but this came just weeks after they initially dismissed divorce rumors with one post on instagram and they said one happy island hashtag love you hashtag soulmate hashtag i love loving you Earlier this year in January, there was speculation on social media that there was trouble with them. But one Bravo account tweeted, streets are saying Teresa and Louis are separating. And that's when they did that. I mean, but that is kind of annoying. I'm going to play you the clip from them. Hold on. Thank you to Bravo Breaking News, Kim. Housewives of New Jersey just came out. And how's the marriage going? Are there like any updates or anything? Everything's great. Everything's great? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, wait, I can't wait for everyone to see the new season. Um, a lot's going to be shown. Um, you know, so there's a lot of indication. And I can't wait for all the lies to be revealed from all the liars. Okay. So I that's can't great. wait. And the truth's finally going to come out. I can't wait. That's great. You guys have been hanging out in L.A. For, yes. like, well, I work been, here. I will be doing a TV well, I'm show. working on a special project, which I can't say. Everybody's going to find out about it very soon. And I'm working on a special project. I can't say. What is it? Live streaming platform. Okay. I'm take over TikTok. Come here. I was I was wondering why no, what was going on with the TikTok. Yes. <laughs> but you guys are doing great. You guys, I mean. Yes. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> 
Now, what is this, Venevia? This is a live streaming platform that's being launched on April 4th, 2024, solely for creators and influencers around the world. Okay. That's what I do for a living. Oh, we're looking forward to using yeah, that app. Too, man. How are you? All right, doing are great. You Thank you so much. So, are you and Teresa, you guys are good? Like, I mean, we're amazing. Okay, because, you know, the, the trailer. We're so good that people have to talk about us. Of yeah. course. We, yeah. we love you guys. Yeah. So Drink happy dad. Thank you. Drink happy All right. dad. Thank, Thank you, guys. Enjoy your dinner. What the fuck did I actually just watch? Do you know? I know. I'm going to call her Danielle Stop. Danielle, do you know? You don't know? Danielle, is the me you're looking for? Okay. I'm going to put her down. All right, guys. I want you to pop off in the comments. Let us know what you think. Smash that like button. Show some love. Wish me luck, because I don't know how the fuck to deal with this one. I think that this is actually a lot. I mean, it's a weird thing to sit there and, like, you have to defend people, but you don't want to defend people. You don't know who you should defend, who you shouldn't defend. That's why I'm saying I'm opting out. I'm opting out. Happy Monday. Shit's been a bust. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.